When a cat wanders into a store to buy fish, he has nothing but a leaf to offer. The other customers are puzzled at the sight, but what the seller does next is absolutely shocking. Like every other morning, Kenji had awoken before sunrise and gone down to the docks to fish. He lived in a small city that sat on the coast of Japan, where seafood was rich and plentiful. He spent the first few hours of his morning fishing before heading to his store and preparing for the day's trade. Soon, people from all walks of life started to fill the streets. Kenji greeted each customer with a warm smile while he worked skillfully, filleting each fish with precision and care. But it was amid this morning ritual that an unusual customer made its way into his store. Within a few minutes of opening, the door had creaked open and in trotted a small, beautiful stray cat. Much to Kenji's surprise, the cat was holding something in its mouth. Not money, but rather a singular green leaf. The cat's eyes scanned the room before settling on the fish displayed before it. The patrons fell silent. Kenji paused too, his knife hovering in midair as he turned to see the tiny creature that had so boldly come into his store. But his initial surprise quickly gave way to amusement as he watched the cat stride confidently towards the display of fresh fish, its tail high in the air. Undeterred, the cat then dropped the leaf at Kenji's feet and let out a soft meow, its gaze fixed on the man. The cat had seen people pay for the fish hundreds of times before and was simply imitating them now, hoping to exchange its leaf for fish. For a moment, Kenji looked down at the leaf, then back at the cat, whose eyes seemed to be pleading with him. Without a second thought, he bent down to pick up the leaf, examining it as if it were a bill, before putting it in his pocket. Why, thank you for your purchase, he said, laughing. He patted the kitty on its head before turning to his display and selecting a small piece of fish, the kind he knew would be just right. With gentle hands, he placed the fish on a small piece of paper and slid it across the floor to the cat. The stray, with a quick glance around, sniffed at the offering before devouring it in what seemed like seconds. It was clear it was starving. Kenji had never seen an animal eat so fast in his life. But before the man could offer more, the cat had darted out of the store and disappeared in the blink of an eye. For the rest of the day, Kenji's thoughts were preoccupied with the cat. He would soon begin to call Suzuha, or Suzu for short. There were many strays in the village, but Suzu had been the first to ever approach him. The man found himself hoping that it wouldn't be the last time he'd see the green-eyed kitty. The following morning, Kenji arrived at his store a little earlier than usual. A part of him was on the lookout for the small, four-legged figure of Suzu. He prepared his store, all the while keeping an eye on the door. And then, just minutes before opening, there she was. Like clockwork, Suzuha appeared outside the door. Kenji couldn't help but smile as he reached for his phone and captured the image of Suzuha, standing there with the same demeanor and another green leaf held gently in her mouth. At that moment, Kenji knew that Suzuha was going to be hanging around for a long time. These first few visits were only the beginning, but he had no idea that they would soon lead him down a path of shocking...